What's up everybody? Welcome back to Diesel Creek. My name's Matt. We are currently out here at my farm today and we are gonna start on a project that I have been trying to get off the ground for over 10 years, actually pretty much as long as I can remember. I have wanted to build a nice big shop out here and that's finally coming to fruition. So a lot of you guys already know that I have the shipping container shop over here that I built a couple of years ago. That building was never actually intended to be a workshop. I always called it the shipping container shop just because it rolls off the tongue so much better than a shipping container storage building. But that's all that building was really ever intended to be was a storage place where I could keep stuff out of the weather and until I had the funds to build said dream shop, uh, it was a place to work on stuff out of the weather as well. So, way back in the beginning of the channel and this building, there was a video on me clearing this site for this building. And at the time, I showed a map where I had everything planned out for the future. And it showed this building that we're going to clear for today. So, the future is now, and we're going to start working on this project. So, as you walk down my driveway here, you'll see that the driveway starts to curve to the right right now to make it over to the shipping container shop instead of just a straight line and the reason i left it like that was because this road is also going to veer to the left here and it's going to go up and run into the front of the building and we're going to have a big wide v-shaped area here that's all gravel in front of the building and then this road will still run alongside of the building to get over to that building and behind and behind both buildings is where i'm going to keep everything I'm eventually gonna clear out that whole area back there and make that my yard for all the equipment and all the projects and stuff. That way it kinda just keeps it hidden and out of sight because eventually I'm gonna build my house over here and I don't wanna be sitting in my living room looking out the window at all my junk. Well, actually I wouldn't mind that at all, but the wife, the wife probably wouldn't like that too much. So I set it all up and planned it all out so that it should be able to keep all the stuff pretty much hidden and you're just going to get to look at that nice pretty building after it's put up here. So I'm actually not going to build the actual building myself. I don't have the time nor the knowledge to do it probably correctly and in a time efficient manner. Um, so I'll leave that to the professionals and hopefully they can get it knocked out for me. I feel like if I was going to do that one myself it would probably take me a whole year maybe longer and probably end up with a less than satisfactory product in the end. So one of those things that's probably just better to sign a check and make it happen. So while I am not gonna put up the actual structure of the building, I am, however, in charge of all the clearing and the grade work before they can get started. So, so it's mid-January now, and they said that they're probably gonna be able to start in sometime in March. So that means we have a little bit of time here. We need to start clearing this thing and get it prepped out for a building pad. So I'm not sure if you can see up here, we got these road cones and some stakes up here. That is going to be the front gable face of the building and that's where the building pad will start but like I said this whole area in front of the building here is going to need to be wide open so they can lay down materials, park vehicles and uh, that's going to also be the drive up to the building. So we're going to start by clearing all these trees out right here. You can see I got some X's on some trees back there. Those ones are all going to go because they are leaning towards the building. The other stuff on the edge of that ridge that is not marked is leaning away from the building. So I figure we can probably leave those. And I think I'm just going to start this end and start dropping them down, probably back towards the camera and just work my way back. So we're going to clear from here. all the way to here for right now that's what i'm going to focus on and this is just the important part that i have to have done before they can start construction so eventually after the building's up i'm going to start working on clearing out this area over there and pretty much where you see those tractors sitting back there that'll be the the back of my equipment yard so anyways let's go ahead and I already have the excavator warming up we can get it greased up fueled up and we can start knocking down some trees.
Okay, so we got a pretty good start going here. Now, I do have a system, contrary to what it may look like. I knock down so many trees as to where uh, they're not all jumbled up on each other too badly and I can actually get in there and work with them still. And rather than taking down one tree at a time, that makes it easier so I'm not hopping in and out of the machine constantly because I don't have somebody on the ground with the saw bucking them up as I go. So in this case, I knocked down, what, eight or nine of them here and that was enough to uh, fill up the area and all the other ones right in the direct vicinity would have come down on top of them and just made it hard to work with. So, so all the tops that we cut out and all the tree stumps will eventually make their way over there next to the auto car to be burned. Um, but rather than just carry each one over there individually, I will uh, just kind of sort them into smaller piles and keep moving with the excavator and then come back and clean them all up at the end once. So we got a lot of work to do yet. We're maybe a quarter of the way cleared and uh, let's just keep on trucking.
love the smell of red fuel in the morning. Oh, well, that, while that's fueling up here, let's take a look at what we accomplished last night. Not too bad. I only had about a half day yesterday, actually, because uh, I got out here, got the machine prepped out in the morning, and then had to go somewhere for an appointment, and uh, come back, work till about 8 o'clock. Still a good bit left here in the building area. Well, actually, not too many left in the building area itself, but um, a good number back behind the building. You know, I'm kind of cutting a pretty good buffer all the way around the building. This guy here is going to be a fun one to take out. It's uh, leaning pretty good, and it leans directly over here at the auto car and the light plant and my building. Uh, yeah, we should be able to shove it out of there though. Just dig out on this side and on that side and leave the two edges for hinges and drop it right over this way. Well, go figure, the camera ran out of battery right as I started digging on those two trees and I, uh, I didn't think to check it. I thought we were still plenty good on battery, but that guy right there, that was the one that was leaning pretty much straight at the camera, but it went down really easy, no fight at all. I just notched the uh, front and back of it, left the two left and right sides as a hinge and uh, pushed it right over, it didn't fight me at all. Pretty much the same deal with the cherry there. Nice and easy, but uh, yeah, it's a bummer you guys didn't get to see it. Anyways, now we got a big mess. Let's clean it up. This is why we can't have anything nice around here. <sighs> well, we're making some significant progress here. 
Everything's going really well. I'm probably about three quarters of the way through the clearing. I have a few more trees over here on the edge to cut out, plus a few more down there where the excavator is still sitting. But uh, I need to clean up the whole area here so I can get these a few dropped this way. I'm going to take all these logs and uh, put them up in my stockpile. I don't know if you can see it over top of the car there. I got a big log stockpile over there. So I'm gonna get Fat Alice down here with the big forks and uh, I'll load all the logs onto the forks and take them over there and put them in the pile. And uh, I think Brad's driving it down the driveway right now, so. Bradley to the rest.
here we are on day three now. Ugh. And of course, it quit raining about the same time that we quit last night. But it is absolutely cold and miserable today. It's that damp moisture that chills you to the bone. But we're definitely making progress here. This is a pretty good swath. The entire area that the building is actually going to sit in is cleared now. But uh, there's still some trees over on the ridge here that would be a danger to the building. Uh, I see a couple silver maples and a cherry over there. We're going to take those out. And several more over here and behind me. I think there's, I counted last night, I think there's around 20, 20 more trees we got to take out to give me a working area around the building and uh, just a, a buffer to keep from having branches and limbs or maybe a whole tree fall onto the building. So without further ado, let's fire up the hoe this morning, shake the cold off and start ripping and tearing. How about that one guys? Got a twofer. Snapped the top out of that other cherry over there and that's good actually because I don't like pushing over trees that fork high up because the weights are a little goofy and you got a lot of top heaviness that can kind of want to throw you off. So now we only have one vertical on that big cherry then it uh, should go right where I want it. Well. These are some pretty good sized root balls. I was hoping that I was going to be able to shift this one a little bit further left and drop it right next to that root ball, but because it got hung up in that other cherry, I couldn't make it happen. My machine here, it's, it's pretty much an ideal size for what I usually use it for. But when I start getting into clearing like this with uh, bigger diameter trees, she's really just a bit undersized. But you gotta run what you brung, and uh, it's been a good machine. It does what I need, so let's go ahead and keep working and clean this thing up. We got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen more trees to go. Maybe fifteen.
done, Bradley. Well, we got that guy down. I'll have to drag it back up here with the dozer, probably. But textbook example of why I made the call to get that one out of here. It's not really that close to the building, but these cherries, they rot from the inside out. It'll look like a perfectly healthy tree, which that one did. But it was already rotten in the core, and uh, eventually it'll just snap off. I'm not going to put the building at risk like that. Well, we have the site pretty well cleared now. Got three more trees left to do here. We got this guy and these two. I figured I'd take you along for a little wind cab here and uh, yeah. It's always nice to finally like cross a finish line with a project like this. As you may have noticed by now, I lost a tooth yesterday. I found the actual tooth, but the piece of the tooth that locks it onto the bucket is broken. So I'm debating on getting a new tooth or just welding the stupid thing on because uh, they're all pretty darn loose.
usually give them a little nice gentle push first just to make sure they're going to cooperate. I'm at a gravitational disadvantage working on a hillside right now. So it looks like it's going to go pretty easy. These silver maples, silver maples don't usually put up much of a fight. We'll give Brad a little heads up.
shove the tree back up the hill and don't die. Not a big fan of this plan, but it's what I got to do.
all right all right all right check that out guys that is officially a cleared slate now there's still lots of work to be done here though we're nowhere near finished of course we got to strip off all the topsoil yet i did take the skid steer there and push all the uh really dirty dirty stuff down there at the end and uh, when i push up the rest of the topsoil i will keep it separate that way i have a pile that's not too full of sticks and debris that i can uh, dress things up with later down the road or sell all right so i was able to get all this accomplished even in spite of a couple minor breakdowns i don't know if you can see the wheel loader sitting off in the background there with a full load of logs on it still uh the fuel filter must have either frozen or clogged up on it and it just won't allow any more fuel through so we'll have to pull that off there and get a new one of those on tomorrow the other thing that happened was the thumb on the hoe i don't know what's going on whether the packing in the cylinder that operates the thumb is blown out or there's a valve hanging up in the valve body that actuates that cylinder but you can't hold pressure on the thumb right now as soon as you put any pressure on it uh you just push the thumb back basically so it's really hard to grip anything so i actually still have a couple stumps sitting down there on the edge that are full of dirt yet and the skid steer really can't clean them out good enough so i gotta get that thumb fixed up before i can shake all the dirt out of those i'm gonna take a gander at that tomorrow and see if we can't get that thing fixed up but i slick this off enough to where it should not hold water if we get any rain i think we're supposed to get a bunch of snow here in the next couple days so at least the water will drain off of it now it's not all rutted up i mean it still has ruts but at least all the ruts drain unlike before we had anyways guys i guess that's going to be the end of this video it's getting late and i still got to go home and smash this thing together for you so snow's setting in it's time for me to go but if you would guys before you go do me a big favor if you like the video hit that thumbs up button it really helps out the channel it doesn't cost you guys a thing and of course if you're not already be sure to tickle that subscribe button so i can catch you on the next video as always thanks for watching i'll see you on the next one later